Hello, this is Socialist Links. This is a part three of a series uh, known as the National Question of the 21st Century. Uh, and here we're going to talk about basically the relation of the French Revolution, the Haitian Revolution, in relation to the overall show of national liberation in general. Uh, as well, uh, hopefully, uh, in this video, we're going to talk about also the Brazilian Revolution that's relation to, well, enacting slavery uh, and its, and its uh, functions uh, as a country. So, without further ado, let's get started. In 1789, the French Revolution broke out on the day of the storming of La Bastille, on July 14th, 1789. When peasants and merchants around Paris, around Paris, France, took up... Uh, arms uh, from sickles to muskets and stormed uh, the castle uh, with a Marquis of Lonnais, Bernard René uh, Jardin, and also uh, uh, seized the castle to kill Marquis of Lonnais and Bernard René Jardin, and also seize all weapons, ammo, food, and property of the monarchy and landlords in Paris. After this, all the revolutionary peasant and merchants, uh, with help from the numerous of political organizations in France, and uh, and just regular merchant and peasant militias that would emerge, uh, that would find assem uh, the Assemblée Nationale, made up made up of the La Girondin, La Fleur, La Jacobin, La Emergé, La Emergé, uh, Sans Couleur, La Milice Révolutionnaire Nationale, and La Milice Révolutionnaire La Femme. After this revolution was after this revolution was the order of the day, and the Assemblée Nationale was the united coalition of these groups, and wanted to see change in France through the means of overthrowing the monarchy and establishing something else. What something else was, these groups couldn't find really much understanding, and and these groups uh, didn't even know how revolution is even practiced. There was groups like the La Girondin that actually don't that actually didn't want to abolish feudalism, or uh, or the uh, or the political system of a monarchy, but rather uh, try to go for the policies uh, and terrible at military, economic, and political actions of the Bur of the Bourbon monarchy for the past uh, thirty year th through for the past thirty year up. Uh, to that point, carried uh, by different kings, such as Louis uh, Andelé, the 15th of France, and Louis Antoinette, the 16th of France, uh, wanted a different monarch family in power, chosen by, uh, from the landlordry of France. Uh, convenient that this uh, group was mostly made up of landlords, uh, just got tired of, of the incompetence of the king and queen of France. Thus, they didn't really see see it as a revolution, but thought it was just a change of who was in charge. Needless to say, the peasantry and the merchantry of France didn't really like them. The La Girondin were a group of pacifist liberals, actually, that didn't want actually really want much change. In fact, the leaders of the Girondin, who were Jacques Pere Brazza, Pierre uh, Victorin, um. Vaget, uh, Virginaud, and the la and the last two who were landlords, Marie Jean Antoinette Nicolas de Carre, at 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 Condorcet, uh, who was the Marquis of Carre and uh, Condorcet, and Jean Marie Roland de Palais, who was the Marquis of Palais. Even said, even said that. Uh, that despite the fact that they would uh, like a bourgeois state in the name of republicanism, and and they would like to see the transformation out of feudalism, a, and a new kind of economic system, this new economic system is the one that would be living today, capitalism, they didn't actually want to make too many changes, for they thought it would not only harm the superiority of men and white people within the revolution, but also it wouldn't be good when they thought the landlordry, merchantry, and peasantry all needed to work together to be able to end tyranny on how they defined it. Because of this, although in tendency they seemed to want change in practice, and they seemed to want change in practice, they were just monarchists and wanted to see uh, one uh, the king ousted uh, and another ascended. That was theorized by Marie Jean Antoinette Nicolas de uh, Carat et Condorcet, uh, who was again the Marquis of Caria and Condorcet, um, seeing 
uh, them as seeing them as he seemed uh, to be the most qualified as a landlord who was the who uh, of the two of the biggest production lands in France and was related to previous monarch and was related to a previous monarch lineage. Because of the latter tendencies on them, in the end, just uh, wanting to replace one king with another, they were not very well liked in the, by the merchantry and the peasantry in the revolution, which is shown in 1791 with the start of the leadership of the Jacobins running the Assemblée Nationale and the First Republic of France. Uh, being established with Maximilien Robespierre as the first president of this republic, as referred to as an exaggerate, uh, as referred to as an exaggerated yet also named, uh, also named time of the French Revolution, known as the Reign of Terror, which uh, really uh, mostly applied to genuine revolutionaries. Uh, we will talk about later in this chapter. Regardless, this group had really no well intentions of emanci emancipating people in general from the oppression. In fact, they argued uh, to have the landlords uh, that kept slaves and peasants in Haiti and Louisiana to keep their land and slaves, but for the peasants uh, to get the land of landlords in France. And also have both merchants, peasants, and landlords to buy slaves and prior property in which those slaves can work on the, that prior property. La the La Fluente, La Fluence, uh, were was a more honest version of La Girondin, with them having minor differences in their theory and practice. Thus, uh, there is a minor uh, pra there's a minor difference in praxis between the La Fluence and La Girondin. The Fluence were a group of constitutional monarchists that wanted the overall change in the style of the state and economic system of the world, but didn't really want a full constitutional republic like they uh, like many liberal revolutionaries were proposing in their theories of revolution. Like in the social contract of Jean Jacques Rousseau, two treatises of government by Jean Locke, and prospect and his prospectus of the friend of the people, uh, by Jean Paul Marat. Instead, of, uh, instead of that fluent were mainly influenced by Oliver Cromwell and uh, Edmund Ludlow uh, in the letters and speeches of Oliver Cromwell and the Squire Papers of of Oliver Cromwell and Memoirs of Governance by Ed, by Edmund by Edmund Ludlow. Thus, they were wanting to see the model of a bourgeois state that followed after the English Revolution of 1642 to 51, uh, where, uh, where instead of actually having uh, getting rid of the landlordry and also destroying the entire system of monarchy, seen as a reaction for the landlord state, they wanted uh, to be an alliance of the peasantry and merchantry to the landlordry to agree to work together to capitalist economics and also have a dual power between a bureaucracy and a monarchy. This opinion was not very, uh, was not very popular in France, America, or Haiti compared to Britain, where this idea actually became uh, the end result of the English Revolution, because of both uh, La Girondin et La Fluence faced criticisms uh, from the ja from the La Jacobin, La Milice Revolutionnaire Nationale, and faced heavy criticism from the La Enrage Sans Culat and La Milice Revolutionnaire La Femme. Because of this, uh, La Fluence. Because of this, La Fluence was not very interested in actually helping the colonized from the landlordry's colonialism, and also proposed almost the same things as the Girondins when it came to the matters of how to settle colonialism during the revolution. Thus, they did not help uh, and weren't uh, even interested in helping the marginalized of the colonialism. La Jacobin were a different uh, group compared to the rest of the ones uh, that had talked about uh, that I talked that I had we had just talked about. They were a group at the time and wanted to go by the ideas of Jean of John Locke, Jean Jacques Rousseau, and Jean Paul Marat. Uh, that being where the state would be a republic with a separation of powers and checks and balances led within the different branches of the state uh, to reform it, but not leave that power directly to the people. Rather, leave it to the uh, to the select few of rep to represent the people of the state to have a large unelected body of governance that that the actual people that vote uh, and decide actions uh, would mostly be merchants and wealthy landowners uh, swearing loyalty to the republic. Uh, they also wanted to get rid of the monarchy completely. 
In other words, the Jacobin were basically trying to follow the model, the results, and theory that influenced the American Revolution to the point where it did and allow France to follow the same footsteps and launch uh, that would be launched by the merchantry and peasantry of France uh, to the revolution, just, di just as it did in America. Because of this, they also seek a change in the economic system. They want they wanted uh, that revolution actually they they wanted what a, what revolution actually means in the first place. In a revolution, there is usually a general pattern. That being where the oppressed class rises up against the oppressor class and the authority of the oppressor uh, and the authority of the oppressor class. All of this and all of this uh, that. Uh, this uh, to then take control of their own power and decisions of lives that is used to, sm uh, to, to smash a state machine uh, that is made to make a uh, change in order of things in society that is then result into the smashing of the entire economic system where it acts as the first pa first pace process of changing the economic system and the dismantling of the previous mode of production and establishing of a new mode of production as a continuing process of change of dismantling the system to the establishing of a new system by the rule of the oppressed class and their interests being acted on against the interests of the oppressor class. That is what revolution means and how it functions. This is even back through historical evidence, such as, well, the French Revolution. The thing that makes revolution, as we've seen in history of revolutions from Egypt and Mesopotamia to Syria and Sudan, uh, it made uh, by a it made by the class rising up against their own power. We saw we saw this not uh, not just in socialist revolutions. We literally saw this in 1456 to 45 BCE in Egyptian, Mesopotamian, Persian, and Greek slave re rebellions, in the peasant revolts of 1351 to 52, the communal revolution, the English Revolution, the American Revolution, and the French Revolution all in the self-actions of slaves, plebeians, peasants, and merchants. Through the self-activity, it then allows a new society to try to be transformed. This then relates to the general interests of the merchantry and the small portion of the peasantry to focus on the new economic system to one where there is a commodity production and a huge focus on the reliance on the market for the exchange of those commodities and buying of prior property to have land in which those commodities can be produced. This is the transformation that they, that they were interested in. Thus, when the First Republic of France was proclaimed in 1791, the economic policies was to confiscate the land of landlords and sell it to uh, sell it to people who can uh, buy it as prior property and produce commodities, which then coerce people, especially peasants, to participate into the market, or they will risk losing land uh, they live in. Thus, they bought it and uh, they allowed la a labor market to be to be planned among uh, merchants. Uh, to be used to hire labor laborers to work in taverns, fields, and shops. Uh, to instead of really accumulating surplus, they could they could try to have them generate surplus value of commodities instead of just accumulating goods of surplus to be taxed by landlords. Rather, value that is from labor that is represented in the commodities that they also produce. They also are told to produce uh, for their employers. This first state, this uh, first started not as wages, rather to pay, rather as pay for each commodity produced by a laborer, uh, in the sale of labor itself to someone. They get paid half or quarter that is agreed to the amount paid, uh, then pay the rest after the job is done. This uh, would be the precursor of what would later be known as the proletariat, i.e., the working class where they get paid in wage labor based off the agreement of the sale labor power to reform into labor time. But this would uh, be the full, but this wouldn't be in full action nor in practice in the revolutionary bourgeois state of France. This is actually best explained by Karl Marx himself and the Holy Family by Karl Marx and Frederick Engels. Quote, Robespierre, uh, Saint-Just, and their party f uh, fell because of the conv confused and ancient realistic de uh, democratic uh, commonweal based on the real slavery with the modern spiritualistic democratic representative state, which is based on the emancipated slavery bourgeois society. 
what a terrible illusion it is to have recognized the sanction of the rights of man, modern bourgeois society, the society of industry, of universal competition, of private interest freely pursuing its aims, of anarchy, of self-estranged natural and spiritual individuality. At the same time, to want afterwards the annual manifestations of the life of, the, of this society, in particular individuals, and simultaneously to want a model of the political head of that society in the manner of, anqui of antiquity. Of an antiquity. End quote. Karl Marx, the Holy Family. Marx even goes more into the actions of the Jacobin uh, in this specific quote within the Holy Family by Karl Marx and Frederick Engels. Quote, profane history, on the other hand, reports after the fall of Robespierre, the political enlightenment, which formerly had been overreaching itself on the, on the extravagance, began at the first time to develop uh, pro proseculy, uh, proseculy. Under the government of the Directory, bourgeois society freed the revolution itself from the trammels of feudalism and officially recognized the spite of the terrors which sacrificed uh, wish sacrifice uh, it to the ancient form of political life broke out without the powerful streams of life a storm and stress of commercial enterprise a passion of the uh, enrichment and the uh, exuberance of the new bourgeois light the new bourgeois life whose first self enjoyment is part is part light headed hearted of uh, the feverless intoxicating a real alignment of the land of France feudal structure of which had been smashed into the hammer of the revolution and which by the first feverish uh, efforts of the numerous new owners had become the object of all roads cultivation and the first moves of industry that now had become free these were some of the signs of life of the newly emerged bourgeois society bourgeois society is positively represented by the bourgeoisie the bourgeoisie therefore begins its rule the rights of man cease to exist merely in theory. End quote. Karl Marx, The Holy Family. La Jacobin were led quite by quite few notable figures, namely Anton, named Antoine Barva, uh, Barneva, Jacques Perret, Bassot, Adrien Deport, Camille uh, Demelian, uh, Georges Danton, Jacques Nicolas Bolliard Vanet. Jean uh, Marie Collat de Hobro, her boy, uh, Louis uh, Louis Antonet, uh, Louis Antonet, Jacques Herbert, and the and the most well known leader of the Jacobin and the first president of France, Maximilien Robespierre. La Jacobin were one of the uh, were one of the more friendly uh, to the colonized empire to the colonized of the empire of France. And they had actually helped build up the enslaved and merchantry and the peasantry in Haiti to get their uh, their own revolution underway in 1791, the same year they took uh, power in France. They did this, uh, however, not because they were interested in liberating the enslaved of Haiti from the oppression. No, they simply thought it would be more profitable uh, for them to have them be out of the class structures of feudalism with the slave law and remain, uh, so that way they can rely their economy based on trading commodities. And uh, what no better to have customers from a disfranchised slave, uh, at, from disfranchised slaves that were released from their servitude. Uh, they would have no property, no goods, and nothing but a few francs, but a few francs that their leaders in the revolution would give them, thus coercing them to having to exchange money into the market, which would act as the precursor of capitalism as an economic system. Because of this, Maximilien Robespierre still proposed that the Saint Levateur, uh, that when Haiti is free from France, as well when the landlordry was killed and destroyed power in Haiti, that the Saint Levateur were to propose to pass a bill in the Senate of the Haitian Revolutionary Bourgeois State to put the enslaved back to work in fields uh, and mines uh, where they would work previous where they worked previously as slaves, but now become lumpen proletarians, just as France did. Haiti was to, co was to copy their model of their economy to be a precursor to capitalism. This would exploit the formerly enslaved and peasantry to do the bidding of the merchants, 
and would uh, coerce them into having to sell their labor, degrading them to nothing but workers for per for a person, but in a different form compared to the work to the, compared to working for a slaveholder or a landlord as well, robbing them of their own creation as to show that th that is, is their creation, and they and they are important instead of good. Instead of the good considered, instead of the good is considered the property of the person that would hire them as a laborer working for money. There was a group that saw this for what it was an exploitation of the peasantry and the enslaved, to only further the wealth of the power of the very of a very few people, that would saw that would only saw the workforce as customers as nothing but pe uh, workforce and customers as nothing but people uh, to help give them money as worker as the workers and customers had to, had a had to get a bad deal in return. This group was known as La Enrage. La Enrage was the main base of the revolution, as in they were the most radical and down to earth groups of the French Revolution. They were made uh, by the peasantry that. Uh, had got tired of the any form of economic oppression. Rather, it would be form uh, their own, uh, be form, be from their own peasants in France uh, or the peasants and slaves of the colonies, because he saw because he saw the true problems of the economic theories uh, of liberalism and that influenced the revolutions of 1773 to 1824, an exploitation of the peasantry and the enslaved to only further. Uh, the wealth, the wealth and power of very few people that only saw their workforce and customers as nothing but people to help give them money as workers uh, and customers get a bad deal in return. This group was led was led by a gender diverse uh, leadership compared to the rest of the political groups in the French Revolution. These leaders were Jacques Roux, Jean de Lope Leclerc, Claire Lacan, Poil Lyon, and Victor Vera. These uh, were the leaders uh, that were the most enthusiastic and the most active in the French Revolution. Since the very beginning, they were advocating for the very radical policies like women's rights to vote, a declaration for the rights of men and women of all colors and backgrounds, abolition of the market, abolition of the standing army, relying on all fighting to be uh, relied relied on the revolutionary militias like the sans culat and la militia revolutionnaire uh, revolution nationale and the la revolutionnaire la femme which were peasant and merchant militias active in the revolution since the beginning uh since the beginning of the storming of the bastille especially the sans culat and, uh, and la militia revolutionnaire la femme they also wanted the total abolition of money. Once these revolutionary ideals they were proposing became widely international enough because of this, I would like to say uh, not only was La and Rege the left wing of the French Revolution, but they were also uh, they but they were uh, the, but but they were also uh, tr the truest uh, revolutionaries that were peasants and wanted to see the end of classes, money, and the state entirely, and to get a society based on the free association of labor and comp and compassionate collectivism. For money and state rule uh, made more misery among all men and women of all backgrounds around the world. To quote from Jacques Roux in the Manifesto of the, La of the Enrage, quote, For the last four years, the rich alone have profited from the advantages of the revolution. The merchant aristocracy, more terrible than, the, than, the, than that of the noble uh, uh, sacerdotal aristocracy, M has made a cruel game of invading individual fortunes in the treasury of the republic. We still don't know what will the term of their extractions, of their exta extractions, for the price of the merchandise rises in the frightful manner. From the morning to evening, citizen represent citizen representatives, it is time to uh, that the combat unto death, that the egoist carries um, against the hardest working class of society come to an end. Pronounce against the spec the specta the speculators of the monopolies. Either they'll obey your degrees, decrees, or they won't. In the first uh, hypothesis, you will have to say you have to save the far you will have saved the fatherland. The second case, you you will still have have saved the fatherland, for we will uh, have been able to identify and strike the bloodsuckers of the people. And can the property of na 
of knaves um, be more scared be more scared than that than that of the life of a man. Armed forces to the uh, disposal of, of, of administrative bodies. How can they uh, have, uh, have be able to requisition those goods necessary for life? The legislator has been right to declare war, i.e. have the men massacred. How can then uh, the rights to prevent of the grinding down of the starvation of those who guard the, uh, their homes? The freedom of commerce is the right to use and... Uh, to make use of it, the right uh, to tyrannize and prevent and to prevent use, those goods necessary necessary to all who delivered a price of assemb of assembly to all, pronounce them the sense culotte. With the pikes, uh, will execute your decrees. You didn't hesitate to strike with death those who who would dare propose a king, and you did well. You have uh, just outlawed those counter-revolutionaries who in Marseille rendered the, and, and sca got scaffold with the blood of the patriots. And you did well. You would have deserved well of the fatherland if you wouldn't, if you would have put a price on the head of the fugitive, Capus, and the deputies who desert, who deserted your post. If you would have expelled from your from our armies the nobles and those of the court who held their places, if you have taken hostage of the wives and children of the emigres and the con and the conspirators, if you would have held the p pensions of the citadel, uh, privileged to pay uh, the cost of war. If you would have confiscated the profit of the volunteers and the widows and the treasurers antiquated acquired since the revolution by bankers and monopolists, if you would have chased the convention and the deputies who voted to appeal to the pe who appeal to the people, if you would have turned the revolutionary tribunals at the administrators who provoked federalism, if you would have struck onto the sword of the justice ministers and the members of the executive council who allowed a counter-revolutionary nu nucleus to form in in Vendée, finally, if you had arrested those who signed the anti-civic pensions, etc., etc., and monopolists and speculators, aren't they, aren't they, aren't they every bit as guilty, if not more? Like the others, aren't they ver vertile national assassins? So don't fear having thunder your justice burst over the vampires. Don't making the people too happy. Don't be sure that never cal Don't be sure it never calculated when it was the question of doing everything for you. It provoked you notably on the day of May 31st and June 2nd. That is the total liberty. In exchange, give them a decree to prevent good of people of being put on the questions of the ordinary and extraordinary by the excessive price of of constables. Up to the present moment, and the big merchants who are, by principle, criminals by the habit of complaints of kings, have abused the freedom of commerce, and the press of the people falsely interpreted that article of the Declaration of Rights of Man, and the establishes they permitted uh, to do all that is forbidden by the law. Well then, decree constitutionally that speculation, the sale of the of the minted money, and the monopolies of the harmful to society, the people who their true friends, the people who have suffered for such a long time, will see that you sat will see that you sow sward, uh, that their lot is a seriously want to cure of their ills, when it will have a clear, precise law and the constitutional act be uh, against the speculation of monopolists. It will see that the cause of the poor is finally uh, it, it is closer to your hearts of, uh, that of the rich. Uh, it will see to that there is uh, that there don't sit among your bankers, uh, arms merchants, and monopolists. Finally, it will see that you do not have that you do not want the counter revolution. It is true you have decreed and a forced a loan of one of one miller on the rich, but if you don't uproot uh, the tree of speculation. If you don't put a national break on the overtly of the monopolists, then the following day, cap uh, then the following day, capitalists and merchants will raise from the sum uh, from the sans cola through the monopoly and the and fraud. If it would thus uh, not be the egoist, uh, but the sans cola that you will have struck. Before you, before you, you decree, your decree, the grocery store owner and the banker ceaselessly pressured citizens, uh, what vengeance uh, will they not exact today? 
now that you make them pay, what new tri tribute uh, will they uh, not raise on the blood of the tears of the unfortunate? It will be objected in vain, and the workers receive in the salary in keeping the increase the price of goods. In truth, there are some whose industry is better paid, all are also many whose labor is less paid with a, se with a sense of the revolution. Besides all, citizens are not workers, and all workers are not occupied. And among those who, uh, who are those uh, of the eight, ten, of the eight or ten children incapable of earning a living, and general women not able to earn more than two sows a day. Deputies of the mo of the mountain, if you climb from the uh, ninth floor of the houses of the revolutionary city, you would uh, be touched by the tears and the sobs of the immense people whose bread or clothing reduced out of the state of distress and misfortune of the speculation and monopoly because laws uh, have been cr have been cruel to the poor because they have only made uh, by the four of but because they've only been made by and for the rich. O oh, rage! O oh, shame of the 18th century! Who could believe the representatives of the French people, who declared war on the enemies without, were, uh, without, uh, were so cowardly as to crush, with, as to crush those within, under the reign of the Sar of the Sartines and the Fal and the Fasfile, the government uh, would have not tolerated uh, that goods uh, prime necessary to be paid uh, for that of the of uh, their time of their value. What am I saying? They they even fixed uh, the price of the arms of the of the uh, vans for the soldier. At a national convention invested uh, with the force of twenty five million men, will allow the merchant uh, uh, and the rich egoist to habit to habitually bear the mortal blow blow of the arbitrarily taxing uh, the things as most useful to life. Louis Capet. In order to carry out the counter-revolution, had no need to provoke the wrath of the foreign powers. The enemies of the fatherland had no need to flood with rain in the fire department, in the fire, in the fire, the departments of the of the West. Speculation and monopolies suffice to the overturn of the of the evidence of republican laws. But it will be. But it will. Be said, it's war and it's cause of the the, uh, the dearness of goods. Then why, representatives of the people, did you provoke it? Why, under the under the cruel under the cruel Louis the Sixteenth, under the French, have they repelled the League of Tyrants? Why uh, didn't speculation spread over the empire of the standard revolt of famine or, or and of devastation? And under this pretext, it is permitted to the merchant to sell candles uh, six francs of a pound. Uh, so Soap of the six francs uh, of the uh, the pound, oil six francs the pound. Uh, under the pretext of the war, the sans culottes will thus pay for shoes at five at fifty uh, livres the pa a pair, a shirt at fifty livres, a poor quality hat fifty livres. So it can be said that the preconditions of ca of Cazelles and Marat and Marais, have been fulfilled. In the case of you have uh, conspired against the freedom of the fatherland, what am I saying? You will have surpassed them in treason. And so Prussians of the Spaniards can say, we are free to the to the uh, enchain the French, to enchain the French, to enchain the French, for they lack the courage to enchain the monsters that devour them. And so we can say that in spreading around millions, the ascent, the uh, assassinating bankers and big merchants with the party of the counter-revolutionaries, the Republic will destroy itself. But it's paper. It can't be said the cause of the of the dearness of things. Ah, the sans culotte doesn't even see that there is much in uh, circulation. In any event, of the pre, of the of the pro indigenous uh, insurance is proof of its value and the price attached to it. If a son if a science has a real value, if it rests on the loyalty of the French nation, the quantity of the national effects takes nothing from their value. Just because there is uh, much money it's in, cir in circulation, it is the reason they forget that we are men to commit uh, bring uh, to, to commit uh, bring dead 
uh, Bringadage and Taverns of Commerce to make uh, oneself master the fortunes of the lives of the citizen, to employ all means of oppression suggested by the advance of the party spirit to excite the people to excite the people to revolt and uh, enforce it by famine, torture, unfulfilled needs to devour what own and own enthralls. But the Assyrians lose much of their commerce. Why? Why then do these internal form bankers, businessmen, and and counter revolutionaries fill those coffers with them? Why do they cr uh, cruelty diminish the salaries of certain workers, and? And why do they offer the indemnity to uh, the indemnity to others? Why don't they offer a discount to acquire national lands? England, whose debt perhaps exceeds by twenty by twenty times the value of the of its territory, and flourishes only on the paper of its bank, does it uh, proportionally pay for its goods as dearly as we do? Ah, Minister P uh, Pith, Pithsick. It is too skillful uh, to allow subjects of George to be crushed in this way. And you, citizen representatives, you deputies of the mo of the mountain, you have boast of being among the numbers of the sons culottes from the height of your immortal rock. You refuse to exterminate the constantly reborn hydra of the specu of, of speculation. But it is added we have we get many articles from the overseas and they only want money in payment. This is false. Commerce almost at always carried out exchange of merchandise for merchandise and paper for paper. In many cases, effects and are preferred uh, over money. The metallic mo uh, monies of the circulate in Europe would not suffice of the uh, the cover of the hundred thousand parts of bills in, cir in circulation. So it is clear, as the day of the speculators and bankers discredit Asungans, only in order to sell their money more dearly, to find occasions to monopolize with uh, impunity, uh, and to traffic in the counter and and the, at the counter of the blood of the patriots, they burn to spill. But is it known how things will turn out? It is certain that the friends of the equality will always suffer. Then we have them slaughtered beyond the borders and and. That within the uh, besieged by famine, it's certain that they will not always be the de the dupes of the public plague, of charlatans who eat away uh, at us like worms. The monopolists whose uh, store store houses are nothing but the dens of swindlers. But when the death penalty is pronounced against whoever will attempt to reestablish the royalty, when the countless legions of citizen soldiers are from a vault of steel with their weapons, when they spit out the, the uh, sulfur and fire from all sides of the horde of the barbarians, can the baker, can the baker or the monopolist say they don't know how things will turn out? In any event, if they don't know it. We've come to tell them the people want freedom and equality, the republic or death. And this is precisely what drives you to despair, the vile henchmen of tyranny, not having succeeded in corrupting the heart of the people and subjecting it through terror and clump and calumny. You employ the last resources of slaves in order to stifle the love of liberty. You take control of manufacturing and sea of manufacturing and seaports, of all branches of commerce of all products of the land in order to make friends of the fatherland die of hunger, thirst, lack of clothing, and push them through the to throw themselves into the arms of despotism. But the na but the knaves will uh, not reduce a slave a slavery a, a people that lives only by the steel and liberty of the privations uh, and sacrifices. It is reserved to the part of to the partisans of the of the monarchy to prefer ancient chains of the treasures of the republic and immortality and so representatives of the people to demonstrate head, headlessness much longer uh, would uh, be an act of cowardice a crime of let of lesa nashan you mustn't fear the inquiring of the hated of the hatred of the rich that is the, uni the that is the evil. You mustn't fear the sacrificing the political principles to the salvation of the people, which is the supreme law. 
agree with us that through the uh, pa that through post uh, that through postmanity that you authorize the discrediting of the paper that you prepare bankruptcy by tolerating abuses and crimes and that despotism would have uh, blushed before the last days of the barbar barbarous power. We know that no doubt there are evils that are inseparable from the great revolution, that our sacrifices must be borne to, to make liberty triumph, that we cannot pay too dearly for the pleasure of being Republicans. But we also know that the people have been betrayed by two legislators and the, vi and the vices of the Constitution of 1791 were the source of the public uh, calamities, that, it, that it's time of the sun's culotte, uh, it, who smashed this uh, scepter of kings and its end of the, in, of the insurrection of all types of tyranny. If you do not quickly remedy this, uh, will, uh, how will uh, those of no estate, those who have only one, three, four, five, six hundred leveries of the amunities, uh, in amunities, and it is not well paid of the land, rents, of, or personal accounts that will, su that will uh, subsist if you don't stop the course of speculation and monopolies. And this, by a constitutional decree, that is not subject to the variation of legislators. It's possible that we won't see the peace for, uh, for 20 years. The cost of the war will cause a new insurance of paper. Do, do you thus want to perpetuate our ills during the whole time a tacit authorizes a speculation and monopolies? This would be a means of expelling all foreign patriots, preventing the slave peoples uh, from counting to France to breathe the pure air of liberty. It is not enough that you predecessors, for the most part of the infamous memory, left us in the monarchy, speculation, and war without leaving us unclothed, starving, and in despair? Mustn't it be the royalists and the mo moderates, under the pretext of the freedom of the commerce, continue to devour the manufacturers and the land of property, that to gra that to grab uh, the fruits of the, fr of, the, of the fields, the forests, and the vine? The, ver the very skin of animals, and that they still drink under the prote uh, protection of the law from the cups uh, gilded by the blood and tears of citizens. Deputies of the mountain, no, no, you will have, uh, you will not have leave your work in the state of imperfection. You will found the you will found the basis for the public prosperity will not uh, concentrate onto the general repressive principles of speculation and monopoly. You will not give your successors to the terrible example of barbarism of powerful men over the weak, of the rich over the poor. You will not end your career of infamy. With the full confidence received in the new oath, we swear to defend uh, unto, unto the uh, grave liberty, equality, and the unity of, indivi an in of indivisibility of their public and the oppressed sans culotte of the departments. Let com let them come. Let them quickly come to the Paris uh, to Paris to solidify the the ties of fraternity. Then we will show them the immortal pikes that overthrew that overthrew the Bastille. Those pikes that brought down the perf the per the petrification of the Commission of the Twelve and the faction of the Statesmen. Those pikes that will render justice of the acquitters to the traitors behind whatever mask they wear, whatever country they inhabit. It's them we will lead them to the young oak, where Marcelet and the sans culotte of the depart of the departments adjured their error and vowed to overturn the throne. Finally, it's then uh, it's it's then that we will accompany them in the sanctuary of the laws, where the Republican where the Republican hand will show them into the side and want to see, save the tyrant, the mountains that pronounced his death. End quote. Jacques Rue, Manifesto de la of the Enrige. This passage from the this passage from the Manifesto de la Enrige, uh, but. Uh, of the Enrige by Jacques Rue uh, is actually the best way I can do the justice for the for the Enrige uh, when showing uh, just how involved they were and angered this group was to the policies of the French Revolution that would soon lead to Europe and to capitalism. 
instead of uh, instead uh, Jacques Roux and others of the and the N uh wanted to see the end of classes and liberation of how the N uh, uh, of how of even of uh, what they con of what they considered as dark skin bro of even uh considered as their dark skin brothers in Haiti. Is even stated by Karl Marx on how the NRG were very revolutionary and communists today should indeed take inspiration from them, as stated from the Holy Family by Karl Marx and Frederick Engels. Quote, ideas can never lead beyond an old world order into beyond the ideas of the old world order. Ideas cannot carry out anything at all. But in order to carry out ideas, Men are needed to, uh, to exert the practical force of the literal sense. The critical sentence is, therefore, another truth that is self-evident and, therefore, another examination. Underrated of the examination of the French Revolution, rise up to ideas which led to beyond the ideas, the entire world, the old world. The revolutionary movement, which began in 1789 in Social, uh, when the middle of its course had its chief representatives, Leclerc and Roux, this is referring to John Philippe Leclerc and Jacques Roux, by the way, which have fun which uh, finally the bo the bafos of conspiracy uh, was temporarily defeated, gave rise to the communist idea which Bafos friend uh, Bonniat reintroduced in France of the revolu in, after the revolution of 1830. This idea consistently developed the, is I is the idea of the new world order. This new world order and developing idea, by the way, is referring to communism. End quote. Karl Marx, the Holy, Fam the Holy Family. He even states that in studying of the French Revolution and the communist perspective, one must understand that the end and that the end were right on to the, uh, and they should be considered as an example of going beyond the stages nonsense uh, that Max Stirner and Pierre Joseph Pradon was talking about in the ego and the id by in the ego in the ego and his own by Max Stirner and the philosophy of poverty by Pierre Joseph Pradon. Quote, Napoleon represented the last battle of the revolutionary terror against the bourgeois society, which had been proclaimed by uh, the same revolutions at and uh, it's a policy. Napoleon, of course, already dis dis uh, discerned the essence of the modern state. He understood that it is based on the unhap of the unhappered development of bourgeois society on the free movement of private interests, etc. He decided to recognize and protect its basis. He was no uh, terrorist uh, with his head uh, in the clouds. Yet at the same time, he still yet at the same time he still regarded the state as an end in itself and civil liberty as as only as a treasurer and his subor and 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 his subordinate, which must uh, have no will of its own. He perfected the terror by su uh, su by substituting permanent war for permanent revolution. He fed the egoism of the French nation and the complete uh, sanity, but demanded also the sacrifice of the bourgeois businesses, enjoyments, wealth, etc. Whenever it is required of the political aim of the conquest, if he uh, despotically uh, suppressed the liberalism of bourgeois society, the political idealism of its daily practice, he, he showed no more consideration of the essential material interest trade industry uh, whenever they come, when they ever they conflicted with his political interests, his scorn of in, of industrial hum, of Hamez de Aferes was the com, was complaintment of his scorn of of ideologists. In its in its home in his home policy too, he combated bourgeois society as an opponent of the state and his own person. He still held to the absolute aim in of, in itself. Thus, he declared state council that he would uh, not suffer to the owner of the extensive estates and cultivated them uh, not all, not as he pleased. Thus, to concede, thus to uh, concede the plan of the subordinating trade to the uh, to that to the state by appropriating the village uh, road haulage. French businessmen took steps to anticipate the event. Uh, first, show, uh, first shook Napoleon's power. Paris exchange, exchange brokers forced him to, by means of the artificially created famines, to delay the opening of the Russian campaign by nearly two months and thus launch it too late in the year. 
just as the liberal bourgeoisie was opposed once more by revolutionary terror in the person of Napoleon, so it was opposed once more by the counter-revolution and the restoration in the person in the person of the Bourbons. Finally, in 1830, the bourgeoisie put into effect its wishes of the uh, of the year of 17 of 1789. With only difference that the political enlightenment was now compared was now completed, that is no longer considered the constitutional representative state as a means of achieving the ideal of the state, the welfare of the world, and the universal human aims. On the contrary, had acknowledged the official expression of its own exclusive power and the political recognition of its own special interests. The history of the French Revolution, which dates from 1789, did not come to an end in 1830 with the victory of one of its uh, uh, components in the rich and enriched by the consciousness of its own social importance. End quote. Karl Marx, The Holy Family. The French Revolution was truly an epoch that definitely was a turning point of all global history and would help shape both Europe and the entire world into place as it is in today. But our world's not so great. We have become so fetishized with commodities and monies uh, and money that people, no matter uh, their social relations to the means of production, are raised to have more relationships to money, a literal piece of fucking paper, than to their own friends and family. For sure, for sure, our friends and family help us, but they can only help us if they are that there is enough wealth represented, uh, represented into in money in order to in order for the things that we that we that we need to be consumed. Thus, money is the real root that allows us to be able to get our goods and services today. If there is anyone who or anything to think it is, to think it is, it is the result of the revolutions of 1773 to 1824. Because these revolutions are the things that changed the society to uh, to this way, their previous oppressors were just overthrown. And they made a system where private property can help them earn money uh, from the labor from the labor of other people's work through taking advantage of someone else's abilities to benefit themselves. Exploitation, basically. The French Revolution was no different, and the way it ended showed the bleak future that fell into Europe that that would be beneficial to the merchantry and the small section of the peasantry that would later become the bourgeoisie as the rest of the peasantry that fought in the revolution would be forced to integrate into the proletariat, uh, where they would uh, have to sell their labor power uh, to, be, to be paid a wage, as only, as only the way where they can really make a living. Some were able to not really employ others or just work for, or, uh, and just work for themselves. This is, the petty bourge, this is the petty bourgeoisie. But it is very rare and unusual for them to stay afloat for a long time for long, uh, for by design they are made to compete with the bourgeoisie, to the point if they do not become bourgeois themselves, they will be put out of business and would have to become proletarian. Thus, the petty bourgeoisie, by function, in its reality, is a dying class. This was, in result, the ending of the French Revolution of 1789-94, where they had uh, taken the majority of the original revolutionaries in the sens cola, the la malaise revolutionaire, la femme, and the enrage, uh, and then put them under arrest for, uh, they, for them to be jailed uh, for the remainder of, of the leadership of the Jacobin, or were simply executed. Example was Jacques Roux, the guy I just quoted, uh, who was one of the leaders of the la enrage. He was arrested, uh, and he was involved uh, when he was involved uh, within the Women's March of 1793 to advocate for more radical policies to be passed in the French Revolution by the Enrage and Revolutionary Women's Society. It was under a false accusation of counter-revolutionary activity, when when in reality, is that Jacques Roux, Jean de Lepé Leclerc, Claire Lacan, Poilin Lyon, and Victor Vera were actually trying to continue the revolution in France and making the revolution permanent enough until classes, money, and the state was abolished and socialism and communism could be established around the world. While in prison, Jacques Roux had committed suicide. The story is that he was going uh, to be held on trial in the Revolutionary Tribunal Court with a rigged case stacked against him. Thus he, proceed, thus, he proceeded to take a knife and stab himself on the chest seven times. However, there is speculation, and some reports speculated by Claire Lacan, 
uh, one of the female one of the female leaders in the NRG that what had actually happened was people in the uh, of France after the seven after the 1793 revolution was actually very sympathetic to the NRG and even if Maximilien Robespierre and the rest of the Jacobin judges were to just find him guilty in the tribunal the peasantry would get mad overthrow the Jacobin and put the NRG in power and this group was radical too radical for even Maximilien Robespierre. Although Maximilien Robespierre, in my opinion, wasn't really radical enough at all. Thus, on thus on Tenet Bavet, Bonnevet, Jacques Pierre Brissat, Adrien Depot, Camilla de Melian, Jacques Nicolas Bellard Varnet, Jean Marie Collat de Habra, and Louis Louis Antonin, Jacques Hebert, and Maximilien Robespierre plotted an assassination attempt where one person would uh, just walk into the cell and stab Jack Roos seven times. This speculate this speculation has been very has had had some questioning in recent debates, seeing both the revolution seeing both the seventeen ninety three revolution in France was indeed very much supported by almost everyone in France that even fought in the revolution since seventeen since seventeen eighty nine. As well, the Jacobins were known to carry out secret assassinations, even against their own, like the execution of Georges Etan and the attempted assassination of Jacques Hebert, Victor Vera, would publicly be held on trial and found guilty and publicly executed, which, ca which caused the later overthrow of the Jacobin in 1794, the end of the revolution once, uh, once and for all, really. However, due to the actions that was taken uh, by the Jacobin and the results of the suppression of the 1793 feminist revolution in France, I would say that the revolutionary spirit of the French Revolution has died on that day that the Jacobin killed and massacred the revolutionary women that fought in the revolution, wanting better conditions and the end of class struggle entirely. As well, in the end, just left to colonize, to, just left to colonize to fend for themselves and act as another form of slavery uh, to white rich elites that wanted to make uh, money out of the labor time who per would perform the, into the workday, which still allowed racism to flourish because it by allowing racism to flourish, it was profitable for the people that could employ black people as workers, workers who are desperate for money to do. Uh, Due to their economic hardships, uh, that these same owners that employ them had in this, had instead on had instated on them through putting sanctions and levying debts on them, so that the, was the French Revolution. But only one of the but only one of the most violent revolutions, the Revolution of 1790, 1773 uh, to eighteen twenty four. The second was the Haitian Revolution of 1790 to 1804, where we can uh, see the perspectives of the colonized, enslaved peasantry and merchantry into their experiences firsthand. Like the French Revolution of 1789 to 94 that started before, it also existed around the exact same time. The Haitian Revolution of 1790 to 1804. Uh, was the most violent revolutions during the revolutions of 1773 to 1824 that would uh, that would be alongside the American Revolution of 1773 to 87 in the direction of the particular revolutionary period. However, unlike other revolutions before it and even after it, some some minor similarities with the Brazilian Revolution of uh, from 1820 to 24, the Haitian Revolution was a revolution that truly uh, that was truly a massive slave revolution made and struggled by uh, by the people that experienced oppression of racism in class society, particularly feudalism with the slave law and remain in Haiti. However, this form of feudalism and the different racist actions and oppression that occurred in Haiti uh, need to be understood as both the discriminatory issue and class struggle because that is what occurred in the Haitian Revolution. This particular form of basically what ended up happening in Haiti is going to be very important when demonstrating the problems with uh, Vosh's and, D and Demon Mama's entire assertions that racism itself is just a prejudice uh, thing and not a form of discrimination. As we already touched about Haiti, we can see on how countries like Haiti with a massive slave population like Haiti, Jamaica, and Brazil were unique in their functions of the revolutions of 1773 to 1824 due to the feudalist systems in these countries having a slave law and remain. But because of the massive enslaved population that outnumbered the slaveholdery by 10 to 1, uh, they were able to have a massively, uh, massively organized and secret, especially in 1789 when the French Revolution broke out. Many of the landlordry and slaveholdery actually had uh, conflicting opinions about the French Revolution of 1789 to 94. 
Many supported the revolution, seeing an opportunity to replace one monarchy with another monarchy, while others saw it as a threat to their power and uh, have everything to su and do everything to support uh, Louis Bo uh, Bourbon the Sixteenth and the rest of the Bourbon House uh, and control the monarch branch of the autocracy in France. Haiti, uh, this in Haiti, this was prevalent so much so that houses, uh, the house, the house uh, servants, slaves, overheard these conversations about the French Revolution in 1789 to 94 and spread the news to the rest of the enslaved in Haiti through word. It was this period that, for the first time, the enslaved in Haiti, they had hope, because hope was being acted uh, on by the country that was oppressing them for three centuries, when their own oppressed population was rising up against their oppressors, and many of these oppressed people, like the Enrage, was actually supporting and advocating for the spreading of the revolution to Haiti. Because of this, they used uh, the voodoo rituals uh, that their slaveholders granted them amnesty to do uh, to their religious ideas to be able to spread under the guise of basically false consciousness to the being the enslaved. However, from, 17, from 1790, they were using it for something else, a political meetup, to spread classic political consciousness among the enslaved under the guise that these rituals were originally intended to spread false consciousness and provide an opium to the masses. Basically, turning the tide of the basic uh, public assembly that the slaveholder were g granted to the enslaved for religious worship as a panel for revolutionary theory. Completely turning the tides of the appeals to slaves granted by the slaveholders to be used to overthrow the slaveholders in the first place. These disguised, ritu these disguised rituals uh, uh, would be the political meetings that would be able to spread class and political consciousness for about a year, uh, and the first rebellion of the slaves was actually supposed to be a backup just in case things didn't go their way when the white majority of merchants did not side with their struggle of trying to abolish slavery. All this was even expected by the guy that had proposed this. That, that man was called Vincent O.J., Vincent O.J. was a former slave granted freedom at the age of eight because his mother had an affair with a slaveholder after her spouse had died due to, uh, due to from losing a limb from the plantation in a work accident. Since then, learning, uh, since then, learning the terrors of slavery firsthand from working on fields with his father as well on how everything uh, he got, uh, how to get something that from him, from his family, had to suck up to the owner for, that literally, uh, that literally that only, uh, way where they can be free was for his mom to just act as an object to have sex with the owner learning from this he took his anger and did everything he could uh to work towards the abolition of slavery he even wrote letters and had uh, contact with various radicals like maximilien rose pierre jacques Roux, and jean de lope leclerc he was even in Paris during uh, when the French Revolution broke out in 1789. When he returned in Haiti in August of 1790, he was determined of trying to he was determined of trying to get voting rights for slaves in Haiti, and also work for the abolition of slavery entirely, organizing different political rituals and also meet and also political meetups uh, with Amer with American uh, French abolitionists alike, like uh, Thomas Clarkson and uh, Etienne Joly. It was uh, from August. It was from August to September of 1790, where he started trying to propose for the abolition of slavery to be fully instated by law of the Revolutionary French Republic, and something that the revolutionary bureaucracy of France would have to protect. Would have to protect. However, each time it was proposed and debated on, the merchant state refused every single proposal made by Vincent Auger. So. It was then decided in a, in a meeting with abolitionists in South Carolina and in the northern province of Haiti that the enslaved should stage an uprising. Since the French Revolution is not to support their struggle for freedom, they should work to make their own freedom, uh, like, what was already, like what was already going on in France and what happened in America. So, on October of 1790, the Haitian Revolution began with OJ's Rebellion. 300 slaves took up arms and formed their own enslaved militia, where slaves themselves were democratically de were, were democratically decide on planning and strategy on attack on attacks and defense performed by the militants themselves. And the militia and members of the militia as militants would be able to elect their commander and officers, very much like how a proletarian militia is structured during a during a point during a po period of a worker state, uh, which I shall explain into great detail later in this video. But due to the, but due, later into the series, I mean, but due to the size of the rebellion and the total making up 300 to 400 people, and mainly uh, having a control of the northern coast of Haiti, 
The regular standing army of the French Republic quickly crushed it, and Vincent Ogier was captured and arrested. He was held on trial on uh, November to December of 1790 and was ordered to be executed not even by guillotine, but crushed by a water uh, by a water mill wheel on, on January 1791. This is heavily supported by the slaveholdery, landlordry, and merchantry of France, and Haiti, in order to ensure um, their powers and their uh, class interests are secured in the revolution. Thus concludes the tale of Vincent Auger and Auger's Rebellion, where on February, uh, where on February 6, 1791, he was executed via crushing of the water mill wheel. Of course, the landlordry of France also had their own intentions in the French Revolution when it first broke out, and the landlords and the slaveholders that did support the revolution had only uh, much in common with the La Fluent and La Girardin, uh, because those two groups were passing policies and advocating for ideas that really wouldn't get rid of feudalism, rather allow some state limitations so that way the king doesn't act against the interests of their own landlordry of the country. Which was a minor, which it, which uh, was a minor number compared to the overwhelming peasants and slaves that made up of the French Revolution of seventeen uh, of seventeen eighty nine to ninety four and Haitian Revolution of seventeen ninety to eighteen o four. This would not last long because the capitalist ideology of white supremacy can still create struggle based on race rather than just a cla rather than just on class lines. For yes, you can have the same ruling class positions as one group. It doesn't make every single person with a ruling class position have equal civil rights in the vision of the state. That can uh, that can happen if the state wants to be able to have a white supremacist capitalist ideology to intensify uneven economic and political development of the oppressed classes, cla class and political consciousness. This is practiced in Haiti when uh, more black slaveholders and landlords want to be granted the right to vote just as well as like the white landlordry and slaveholdery. And they were granted that right on May 15th, 1791 on but. On May but on May seventeenth, the same year, the whole the white landlord rebelled and wanted to make their own landlord state independent of the Republic of France, with full control of Haiti. This was being fought against by the standing army of the Republic and armies commanded by black slaveholders. But neither the Jacobin nor the Fluent could anticipate what was going to occur in August of seventeen ninety one. In August of 1791 was uh, was when the enslaved themselves would launch a full revolution everywhere around Haiti in order to truly abolish slavery. The slaves themselves must declare themselves to be free from slavery and act on uh, and, and act on that declaration. This was actually stated. Uh, this is actually started by probably one of the uh, one of the worst ways to start a revolution. However, a slip of the tongue. On August 14th, 1791, a uh, Aboy Kaman, Haiti. The voodoo ritual was uh, what was uh, commenced by the new leader of the Haitian enslaved political movement, Duddy Bookman, an educated yet enslaved person that had worked in uh, in the fields and also deal with his mother's death in the age of 16, with his father uh, then being uh, amputated for trying to escape at the age of 22. From then on, he became a voodoo priest, specifically so he can be able to draw up revolutionary plans and then uh, put them into action in voodoo rituals. Duddy Bookman was a rich was a in this ritual spoke about uh, the bad news uh, about one of his, about one of their uh, comrades was captured and interrogated by two overseers of the plantation, and when in pressure, the slave gave out the entire plan for rebellion. Luckily, the enslaved how luckily for the enslaved, however, they, uh, Duddy Bookman also reported that the overseers and slaveholders thought that this uh, was a lie to try to get uh, out of torture and inter interrogation. Because they thought that the enslaved Haiti were too stupid and lazy to rebel against them, uh, so so they just let him go on thinking that they got the wrong guy. But now the news was out, so the revolutionary enslaved had to choose to make uh, t so had a choice to make: make the revolution happen now or risk being rooted out by the slaveholdery. There was a there was a discussion, and then there was an eight out of ten uh, majority saying that the revolution must at must. Uh, must at most happen at the same month of the of the day of the meeting, on the sooner. Uh, but so, but the sooner the revolution starts, the be uh, the, the sooner the revolution starts, the better. So the net. So then the next day, the next slave revolution would happen, and it was ten times larger than the initial slave revolt in 1790. So it was to be done, August 15th, 1791. The revolt came, and it was the most transformative and most violent period in, in, uh, in Haitian history. 
No slaveholder was safe in the vengeance of the payback of the enslaved to be able to try to get rid of the of the world to get to try to get rid of the world of slavery entirely. Almost overnight, plantations, mansions, and other property was burned to the ground, and that smoke of fires in the entire northern province of Haiti to be seen uh, could be seen all the way from La Cap, Haiti. In in just three hours, six, 60 landlords and slaveholders were killed and decapitated by the machetes of the enslaved. The revolutionaries were seizing state buildings. State buildings and declared them to be under the control of the enslaved themselves. With the revolutionary state made up by the enslaved and peasantry, with the enslaved and peasantry leading them, leading then for a revolutionary bourgeois state to emerge, later to be known as the Republic of Haiti. Slave and peasant militias were in the streets and in the fields, made up of the enslaved and the peasantry. Themselves were uh, the new armed body of the state. This stoked up the large movement that many peasants joined on the side of the enslaved, actually. Both were both white peasants and black peasants, mo but mostly black peasants. The revolution uh, was so was so well done and calculated, in fact, that many of the landlordry, slaveholdry, and the merchantry start accusing each other of trying to sabotage uh, one, another, one another uh, and were uh, the secret leaders of the revolt. Some of the police uh, forces started killing uh, black merchants. Land some of, some of the police forces started killing black merchants, landlords, and slaveholders, accusing them of starting the rebellion as a way to get revenge for the execution of Vincent O.J. Many slaveholders stormed uh, the governor building in Haiti, in La Cap, uh, Haiti, trying to get him to organize a standing army to crush the rebellion. I accused the governor and state representatives of potentially letting the rebellion persist and letting it happen in the first place. As well, there are black landlords and slaveholders that said it was the white landlords and slaveholders who were the actual leaders of the rebellion trying to take control of Haiti as a way to have a white-only state. The irony of it all is that none of these people were involved. In fact, everyone I just mentioned and talked about were the enemies of the revolution as the enslaved saw it. But it would uh, be completely inaccurate to say that the enslaved were just killing every single white person they saw. It was on the contrary, actually. They thought it would. They thought if they were, if there were to be executions in the revolution, that had to be uh, on. That had to be a uh, trial for everyone to decide whether or not they should be executed. This even included for a small portion of the slaveholdry, uh, for that for that small uh, for that small somewhere executed. Uh, or just taken out of power, or reduced to a pe to a peasant and or merchant, with the confiscation of the plantations and workplaces of the enslaved, to have uh, the land be controlled and occupied by this uh, by they themselves, or move uh, uh, or move to other places uh, just by simply destroying the plantation. Duddy Bookman made this very clear on how the revolution should play out. Uh, that every that every that even before the revolution, the trials were held in the rituals and the meetings uh, that already decided who uh, who would get to live or who shall die, based on the actions of their of their fairness of other people. I say this because many bourgeois people, because many bourgeois people in the owning class position and petty bourgeois people in the self-owning class position, historians make a lot of false claims about the death toll of white people in the Haitian Revolution of 1790 to 1804 trying to make a subtle racist argument that entails black people are the most violent kind of people and that white people should uh, should uh, be very uh, worried about them. These historians would claim that 1,000 to 100,000 white people were uh, killed in the, uh, by the revolutionaries in the event they call as the Black and Red Terror, in reference to the revolutionary flag of Haiti. However, those numbers are false. More credible historians have direct sources show that only 400 uh, white people were considered to be executed in August, in August 15th to October 12th of 1791. And those 400 white people were either, were either cruel slaveholders that would rape and torture their own enslaved or were counter-revolutionaries that joined the state army to crush the revolution. It wasn't even some. It wasn't even some racial war against white people. It was a revolution against the slaveholders that treated the enslaved with nothing but violence and oppression uh, of their own humanity. However, in this revolution, even with meetings and self-organized organs of slaves governing themselves were made, uh, this did not last long. As as leader as leaders were captured and executed, and there uh, was uh, still a lack of genuine and correct revolutionary theory to be used as practice in, in the revolution itself, which led to disorganization, demoralization of the revolutionary insight and peasantry in, in, in 1791. Because that's the thing about spontaneous action. 
there is a spontaneous action of the oppressed classes due to how common they are with the common social relations of the means of production that can be able to understand each other's interests organically in the limits of their class society so they can have better rights, higher benefits, or even just straight up take action against their class society and the state of that class society entirely. This is done through the oppressed classes themselves and shows how well uh, they can carry their own actions. We need to be able to relate to we need to be able to relate to these oppressed classes, like today with the proletariat, and to their interests at the hands of the realities that face them, when they are in times of struggle and revolutionary situations like the state like the state classes. Because at that point, they look into the alternative because without political influence of the good class conscious workers organization, the workers' spontaneous actions uh, will not have the abilities to face against the bourgeoisie that is needed. Because the reality is that these spontaneous struggles alone and spontaneity alone will not be able to have an effective revolution. Due to the fact that there is a lack of consciousness to even suggest what a movement of what a movement is even fighting for, it, it can e for what the movement is even fighting for, it can easily be usurped into those into ideas that are against the oppressed class. Especially today, with the oppressed class uh, being uh, the working class, and technically speaking, there is less planned action against forces that seek to destroy them. Thus, they end up destroyed. This is why spontaneous struggle alone will won't help. This is the this is it only further intensifies the need for a vanguard party. But the Haitian Revolution of 1791 to 1804, or, or 1790 uh, to 1804, did not have a vanguard party. Thus, did not have a totalizing revolutionary theory in the revolution, which led to them, which led to then the revolution being moderated by people within the revolution after Duddy Bookman was captured and arrested on, on November 5th, 1791. Two days after his arrest, on November 7th, not 1791, he was executed through decapitation of the head and shoved and sho and his head was shoved on a pike for display. Because of this revolution, uh, would uh, soon be tainted within, uh, within the set with within since the same month. A revolt would uh, take place in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, led by a mixture of black and white merchants and slaveholders. From from there, they managed to sign uh, to sign treaties and compromises with the rest of the slaveholding merchant class in Haiti. Um, uh, that they were that they have common interests in seceding from the Republic of France and supporting the revolution, seeing that they are, are to do so, they can quickly control the revolution and substitute over the enslaved in their favor as the merchantry, just like the Fran just like in France, uh, where the merchantry substituted over the peasantry. Don't confuse this statement, however, say that they that the peasantry as a class alone can emancipate themselves. In fact, they actually cannot. There is reason why the merchant tree were able to so easily make up the revolution uh, more than the merchant tree and then the uh, more about the merchant tree than the peasantry because the peasantry are a class that unlike the enslaved and the proletariat do not own their uh, do they do own their own means of production and they do control how long they desire to work. The only catch is that the peasantry has to pay a surplus tax to stay on the land they live that they lived and work on basically to landlords of that land. Thus they were able to control and thus they were able to control still their own means of production with very uh, with very few limits compared to the enslaved in slavery and the proletariat in capitalism. That's the peasantry's own interest and uh, to, to do uh, what we consider today as the petty bourgeoisie, where they can still uh, own their own means of production and time and how long they work, but instead of being taxed by the state, they just have to be free and sell their commodities into the market. And there's a huge difference between the petty bourgeoisie and the proletariat that shape their uh, interests in capitalism in, in different ways. The petty bourgeoisie are self-owners that uh, to their own means of production, uh, that own their own prior property and sell what they produce in, in commodities into the market of their own production. Contrary to the petty bourgeoisie, the proletariat do not own prior property and they do not own their own means of production at all. They sell their labor power as a person in agreement uh, uh, they would uh, get paid in wages based on the labor time they work into the workday in money form. Each each time they produce a commodity for labor time, that price of the labor power acts as a value for the commodity produced. This uh, this commodity doesn't uh, belong to the proletarian though, because the proletarian sold their labor power for the person they sold to to take the commodity for themselves and sell it into the market. Thus, the workers produce value, uh, but not but never are able to get it while the self-owner is able to have access to the value they produce for themselves. The goal at the end of the day is to abolish value. But the petty bourgeoisie does not see that. The proletariat, however, sees the reason to abolish value. Relating this to the Port-au-Prince revolt, the merchantry tried to do this with the masses of the enslaved masses in Haiti. 
uh, where where they would be able to make these slogans of the movement not just by abolishing slavery, but to have an economic system where commodity production and a system in which those commodities can be exchanged, commodities being products produced for exchange value, value can be a main focus of how the economy functions. But they also saw as slavery then being uh, able to be a part of this new system since it can allow merchants to get profit once they are free uh, to be able to buy layer power from people people who would uh, sell their power, thus creating a labor market, where the cheapest option and the most efficient option uh, to have a hardworking class uh, that can produce a huge amount of commodities to dominate supply and manipulate demand, while also having it to impede the cost of production to, major, to a major degree, where it decreases profits by using slaves to produce commodities out of the surplus value that slaves can work in hours that represent commodities uh, that they are uh, produced in those hours. However, this would not be proficient for the landlord slaveholders in Haiti uh, because they saw this as a threat to their lineage and power, uh, which then uh, which then the provisional capital uh, was stormed and took control of uh, the mer was took control of the merchantry and the landlordry ended up fighting each other anyways in the streets of Port-au-Prince. This this led to this led to have a former slave uh, now merchant rise in a way of the side of the revolution, compromise uh, with the revolutionary bourgeois state in France, and set their own revolutionary bourgeois state in Haiti, as a way to uh, as a way where like America and France they can get, they can get to capitalism that the former slave that the former slave turned merchant was that form and that former slave turned merchant was Toussaint Levatier. As I said, Toussaint Lavatier was a former slave, now merchant, rises away to the side with the revolution and the compromise with the revolutionary bourgeois state in France, uh, and to set up their own revolutionary bourgeois state in Haiti as a way where they can, uh, where like America and France, they can uh, get to capitalism, and he would represent the Jacobin in Haiti, seeing both that he adopted Jacobin theory into his praxis, and and second, he would crush the class of politically conscious slaves and peasants that uh, that pointed out problems of the policies passed by Toussaint Lavatier, and quickly secure the bureaucracy of Haiti uh, against the actual self action to allow democracy in Haiti from the enslaved and the peasantry, like what Vincent Auger and Duddy Bookman wanted. This is proven very early uh, when Toussaint Lavatier's leadership came to head uh, after the de after he declared his own power. He quickly started dismissing and excommunicating democratically elected leaders, generals, and officers, and resolutions passed by mil militants and, 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 sla and enslaved militias, and then replace uh, and then replaced them uh, with his own trusty associates to be generals and officers, as well made his own resolutions, making a commander in chief of a newly formed standing army that would act above the enslaved for revolution, basically substituting the enslaved uh, from the powers and the interests of the merchantry. Substitutionism has overtaken the self-emancipation of the enslaved and, and uh, would have the dire consequences in its wake. Despite the fact that the original plan, this uh, method didn't go as planned. It would still be a wrong uh, direction of, in this revolution in Haiti. Especially as an example, some generals, excluding Toussaint Lavatier, were planning to straight up just have themselves be free instead of the main base of the rebellion of the, of the enslaved to, uh, to be from slavery. But this was even rejected by the slaveholdery, thus the fighting against slavery continued. Because of this, Toussaint Louverture actually ended up switching multiple times in fighting against the French and also uh, with the French depending on the policies of, Fran of France and their efforts against slavery. To the point, Toussaint Lavatier and uh, to, to the point where Toussaint Lavatier's standing army ended up working with Spain after Spain didn't want to emancipate the enslaved in Haiti. Uh, they said that they would uh, be able to recognize that the that that the enslaved of Haiti were uh, were able to not only be emancipated, but the enslaved of Haiti were able to emancipate themselves. However, this did uh, not fit with the, Span the, the Spanish that actually were the, what the Spanish were actually doing, which led to to Saint Lavatier to leave his alliance with the Spanish Empire because the Spanish Empire, as a landlord state defending feudalism, declared war on France specifically because of the execution of 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 Louis Baban and of, of Louis Baban Antoinette the Sixteenth and Marie Antoinette. Uh, the second reason was also in this war they were fighting with Britain. That Britain, after working with the slaveholdery of Haiti, promised to put the enslaved back into slavery, thus leading to Brit to thus leading to the British occupied uh, land with black people in it to just be put right to just be put back right into slavery. 
thus putting Toussaint Louverture's standing army in direct odds with their ideals of abolishing slavery. Thus, it, thus, uh, in thus is. Thus, in August uh, 23rd, 1793, when the revolutionary bourgeois state of France declared the emancipation of all enslaved people of Haiti in order to recruit more soldiers into the standing army of, of into the standing army um, of France, the Saint Louverture had left his alliance with Spain and became an independent fight uh, against both the anti-republicans of the Fr against both the anti-republicans and French republic and French republicans. Not only would uh, they have to be free, but when slave but when Haiti uh, can be independent of France, thus uh, the fighting continued until February of 1794, where in the Fifth Congress of the Jacobin Party. Uh, the ruling party of the First uh, Republic of France, led by Maximilien Robespierre, uh, after pressure being from the war against against France, as well uh, with the Jacobin pro-revolutionary attitude being challenged, he he crushed the September Revolution of 1793, led by the Enrage as both Jacques Roux and Claire Lacan wing leaders uh, in that revolution. In that, the Fifth Congress had representatives chosen from delegates by Maximilien Robespierre. How very "quote unquote" democratic, by the way, to represent all holdings of the, of the First Republic of France, including Haiti. Through the majority of the Feb of the February Fifth Congress, discussed uh, the question of feudalism with a slave law in Maine, which is plain old feudalism in the colonies. However, just holdings of the Republic, uh, as well uh, the question of self determination of those holdings. It was then agreed by a majority approved by Maximilien Robespierre that that not just the enslaved were free in Haiti, but all French holdings were free from slavery, and any holding wanting to be wanting independence would have would uh, have to be approved by the by by uh, a referendum in the holding, and then be approved or vetoed by the revolutionary bourgeois state. There was also discussion that all men, white and black or brown, in in French holdings and in the and in the theories of the Jacobin Party would be recognized as citizens in the laws of the First Republic of France, and and have the thesis of the Declaration of Rights of Man and Citizen by Thomas Jefferson and Marquis de la Fufayette apply uh, to all men, no matter their race, which meant. That the, that the fight against slavery worldwide also correlates to the struggle against monarchy, autocracy, and feudalism in the French Revolution of 1789 to 94, and the American Revolution of 1773 to 84 was fighting against was fighting against, recognizing the Haitian Revolution of 1791 to 1804 as the same level of fighting for freedom uh, of the merchantry and peasantry to conduct free trade to establish capitalism that the Netherlands, Britain, America, and France did, and and where Britain, America, and France did, um, did successfully, uh, and uh, Haiti would be would be up there too. This led to Saint Levatier completely siding with the French and proud that the party that he was a member of had finally kept their promise to, to him, where he was tempted uh, to make his own uh, party uh, as a split from the Jacobin. A referendum, a referendum was held in the June of 1794 and approved by the revolutionary bourgeois state of France, with huge support from Maximilien Robespierre that would uh, make Haiti an independent republic. Thus, the first republic of Haiti was founded, with the Saint Lavatier assuming himself as the first president of Haiti. After this, uh, Toussaint Lavatier assumed his power within Haiti, and the and that republic was established. However, during however during his reign, uh, there would be major infighting within this within within Haiti around this time. Specifically, the war of not the war of knives um, uh, in Haiti, which was basically a civil war within the Haitian Revolution, led by Andre Regard and uh, led by Andre Regard against uh, Toussaint Lavatier. This war started on the specific uh, policy that I mentioned earlier in this video, talking about where the state actually forced the enslaved to go back to work and to work for hours in order to get paid wages. This is very controversial with uh, Andre Lagad and many other uh, and many other leaders within within the War of Knives. Namely, Alexander Lagad and Al ha namely Andre Lagad and Alexander Pétain. Uh, ended up opposing to Saint Lavatier's order to basically uh, have to basically have forced wage labor into Haiti, and declared that wait that this form of wage labor was the exact same problem that uh, that the that the enslaved were basically facing uh, while under the while under the protectorate of the, while under the protectorate of the overseers and the slaveholders within Haiti before the revolution entirely. 
under God Alexander Patan would then even declare this as the counter-revolution and an attack against the enslaved of Haiti. The Saint Lavatier then accused André Agard and Alexander Patin of wanting to establish slavery back in, uh, under the idea that basically a collectivism and uh, and, a, and a way with and a work without basically wage labor was comparable to forced work, and was comparable to then uh, slavery, where people were where the where the enslaved were kidnapped from Africa, and 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 brought to and brought to Haiti by force in order to basically pick cotton and. Uh, and also uh, take out and also take out coffee for the for the French uh, slaveholdery within Haiti. This led th then to the War of Knives between the Toussaint between the pro uh, Levatia forces and the pro Bagad forces. This civil this was the War of Knives, and it surely and it showed that basically the left within the left wing of the Haitian Revolution was Alex was Andre Bagad, where he wanted to basically abolish wage labor and private property within Haiti entirely, and see all men, uh, men and women and children, uh, be free from any form of exploitation and commodification under a class society entirely. Although he not did not explicitly say that he wanted the abolition of money and classes like Jacques Roux, his efforts into abolishing wage labor and private property would coincide into that ability to abolish uh, private property and abolish money and classes entirely. However, during this war of knives, Toussaint Louverture would amass more manpower and amass more uh, power and amount more firepower against the pro God forces that were just a lot smaller and a lot and a lot more disorganized compared to the Toussaint Louverture standing army. Because of this, uh, because of this, uh, André Regard and uh, Alexander Patin ended up losing the war and were exiled to France. Uh, were exiled to France under under the base under the lead under an out under an alliance between uh, Toussaint Louverture and Napoleon Bonaparte. Because during the War of Knives, Toussaint Louverture ended up actually having an alliance with Napoleon Bonaparte, despite the fact uh, Bonaparte's um, own disdain and distastefulness of of the Jacobin Party. And, this led, but however, this was uh, important to the Saint Lavatier. Uh, after all, not wanting to basically have uh, the power of Haiti to basically be usurped uh, by the enslaved and the peasantry themselves, and rather still be keep, uh, rather still keep the entire um, formats of basically the revolutionary bourgeois state before Napoleon Bonaparte's seizure of power uh, within uh, within France, and keep it that within Haiti itself. This led then to uh, André Vigard and Alexander Patin's forces to then lose into the War of Knives and were exiled within France as well. Just as Jacques Roux and Claire Lacan and Jean Toulouse Leclerc and Victor Vera were arrested and executed within, uh, were arrested, or, and or executed within within France, or had it, or Claire Lacan or Paul Allian had it, having to flee to Britain. Um, uh, André Regard and Alexander Patin, making up of the left wing of the Haitian Revolution, lost the, lost the revolution and had and were then and were then uh, exiled into France. Just as Daniel Shays and the Shayite uh, militias within the within Shays Rebellion and the Whiskey Rebellion during uh, after the American Revolution, making up of the left wing of the American Revolution. Other events would then happen after the after the after the leadership of Toussaint Louverture, such as uh, Napoleon Bonaparte's uh, invasion of Haiti, trying to basically take control of Haiti back once uh, the counter revolution uh, was instated within within France under Napoleon Bonaparte under Napoleon Bonaparte's uh, leadership within Haiti. Uh, however, this ended up failing and actually ended up forcing and actually ended up forcing Napoleon Bonaparte. Uh, to having to sell the territories of Louisiana to the United States of America, after fearing that the that the enslaved that the enslaved of Louisiana would follow the example of Haiti and would declare their own and declare their own slave rebellion, this is agreed by this is agreed to by Thomas Jefferson to buying up the the territories of Louisiana, at a very cheap cost. And this only led to America then having their own problems of the enslaved rebellion of the of the enslaved rebellion. Uh, such as the Louisiana Slave Revolt of 1811. This put all focus uh, away from France and uh, and towards America when it came to basically the enslaved, uh, and all the other French holdings within France were then free of slavery uh, because of this effort, despite Napoleon Bonaparte's efforts to basically reinstate it back. Because of this, the Haitian Revolution ended up winning, and they ended up actually having their own independent state, but only insofar where they could be able to establish capitalism right back and have another form of exploitation, another form of class oppression uh, within the territories of Haiti. 
this new form of class oppression, this new form of, of class dominance, was would then later be established as capitalism is what we understand today. And that's it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, tomorrow, uh, or uh, there's another video that I'm going to be making. Hopefully, we'll be talking about the Brazilian Revolution and what happened there. And then finally, we can get into basically the modern forms of basically national liberation and basically how this could coincide with basically the uh, the critiques of the old, of the ultra left positions uh, by Va by Ian Vosh, Demon Mama, uh, the international communist tendency, and Donnie Klunkstein uh, within the international socialist tendency. Um, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. I would very much appreciate it. And yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Social's Links is out.